in my breath. I am breathing for you. You are in my voice. You are in the words that I write in my song. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the sixth of seven virtual memorial services. Bienvenidos a todas y todos eh, a este servicio memorial que es el sexto servicio en este día. Around the world, 9.1 million people have been infected with COVID-19. Alrededor del mundo, más de 9 millones de personas han, están siendo infectadas por el COVID-19. And over 427,000 people are known to have died. Y un poco más de 470,000 personas han muerto a causa del COVID. And we know that the numbers are greater than that. Y yo sé que Los números quizás son mayores que esas que nos dicen. So, around the world we have been gathering to grieve and to hold those that we have lost in prayer. Alrededor del mundo nos hemos estado reuniendo para poder llorar y orar por aquellos que han partido. And we are glad to be a global denomination holding hands around the world at this time. Estamos agradecidos de ser una denominación global y unirnos en nuestras manos para orar juntos. And we know that the virus affects some in our communities more than others. Sabemos que algunos en nuestras comunidades, algunas personas en nuestras comunidades están siendo más afectadas que otras por este virus. Depending on the color of your skin, the work that you do, whether you have clean water. Dependiendo del color de tu piel, de donde vives y de si tienes acceso al agua potable. There are many things that mean that the virus affects some of us much more than others. Muchas cosas son las que afectan por las que el virus afecta más a algunas personas que a otras. So we join in solidarity tonight to remember around the world how we are all grieving. Nos reunimos en solidaridad esta noche para acompañar a aquellos que están dolidos por este acontecer. Uh, as part of our sacred ritual tonight, you will need a glass of water and an empty glass. Como parte de un ritual que tendremos más adelante, van a necesitar tener con ustedes un vaso de con agua y un vaso vacío junto con ustedes. So, uh, if you would like to, please go and get those as part of the service. Uh, les pedimos que si pueden ir a traer junto a ustedes estos dos vasos y ya bueno. Uh, our service is being led by Reverend, Hector, Reverend Elder Hector Gutierrez and Elder Nancy Maxwell this evening. El servicio va a ser dirigido por um, Elder Nancy y un servidor Hector Gutierrez. And now Elder Nancy is going to open us in prayer. La reverenda, la Elder Nancy nos va a iniciar con una oración.
Please pray with me. May the sun bring you energy every day, bringing love into the sadness of your soul. May the moon softly restore you by bathing you in the glow of restful sleep and peaceful dreams. May the rain wash away your worries and cleanse the hurt that sits in your heart. May the breeze blow new strength into your being, and may you believe in the courage of yourself. May you walk gently through the world, keeping your loved ones with you always, knowing that you are never parted in the beating of your heart. An Apache grief blessing. Juan, si puedes hacer la lectura, por favor. Del Evangelio de San Juan. No estén angustiados. Confíen en Dios y confíen también en mí. En la casa de mi padre hay un lugar para todo. De no ser así, ya se los habría dicho. Ahora voy a prepararles ese lugar. Una vez que me haya ido y les haya preparado el lugar, volveré y lo llevaré conmigo para que puedan estar donde esté yo. Y ya saben el camino para ir a donde yo voy. Palabra del Señor. Mónica. En la vida se aprende, se crece, se descubre, se escribe, se borra y se reescribe otra vez. Se hila, se desilea y se vuelve a hilar. El día que comprendí que lo único que me voy a llevar es lo que viva, empecé a vivir lo que quiero vivir.
sin duda alguna que estamos viviendo tiempos complicados alrededor del mundo. Pero como creyentes, sabemos que la última palabra de Dios sobre nosotros no es muerte, sino vida. Estamos amenazados de resurrección porque creemos en el crucificado resucitado. Son muchas las personas, como nos lo decía en la bienvenida la reverenda moderadora Cecilia Eggleston, que están siendo afectadas por diferentes motivos, diferentes maneras, por esta pandemia, por este virus. Debe de ser la solidaridad la que nos ayude a enfrentar el momento que estamos viviendo. Momentos como este pueden sacar lo mejor o lo peor de nosotros como seres humanos. Como cristianos, estamos llamados a mostrar la solidaridad, el amor, la esperanza, pero sobre todo la resurrección para todas aquellas personas que han muerto que se nos han adelantado en el camino. Amén. Four hundred and seventy-eight thousand deaths thus far. Four hundred and seventy-eight thousand. Over nine million infections. Nine million. These numbers are incomprehensible to me, and I'm not alone in this incomprehensibility. Studies show people have a difficult time compassionately relating, not only to large numbers of suffering individuals, but in fact, the most successful fundraising campaigns for organizations that assist suffering individuals are ones that show only one person and one person's story. Add two more people and their stories with the fundraising materials and the rate of financial giving drops dramatically. If we become overwhelmed in paralysis and indifference, knowing just two more people's story of suffering. How can we ever comprehend 478,000 stories of loss? How many grandparents have been lost? Parents lost. Children lost. Perhaps we react this way because we all know the depth of a personal loss. We all have experienced the death of someone we know, maybe someone we love deeply. How can we fathom the collective grief of that loss? 478,000 times. The results of another study examine what happens when an entire community or region or country, for example, goes through a time-changing trauma, a trauma in which there is a clear divide in time between before the trauma and after that trauma, where things can never be the same again. The study found the community finds comfort, consolation, and solidarity in its members having suffered the trauma together. There is a strength that is formed through the shared experience, a recognition people know what the other is going through. They and the other are not so different. 
They intimately know each other's suffering. And within this common knowledge, the first steps in healing from trauma began. Others know exactly what has happened. They not only listen and appreciate the other's suffering, but they unequivocally validate and affirm the reality of that trauma. The healing is more rapid and more sustaining because the trauma is common to all and openly discussed, unlike some personal traumas, ones which might never be healed because they are unacknowledged or denied with the person who was traumatized, forbidden from, or punished for speaking about it. I wonder if this sense of community healing wasn't a piece of what happened to the disciples after the traumatic death of Jesus. They stayed together in the upper room as community. And then on Pentecost, the larger community of the followers of Jesus from all over the known world gathered together where they received the Holy Spirit promised by the Christ, coming to them as the comforter, the paraclete, the advocate. The receiving of the Holy Spirit fueled the movement, the followers of the way, the traumatic death of Jesus, and the renewed hope of persons experiencing Jesus' presence after his death provided the newly formed church with its conviction, strength, and invincible faith. It is my hope that we can use this global trauma, which is only continuing to grow without abating, to form communities that care, comfort, and promote healing for the common experiences of unfathomable, incomprehensible loss. May these losses change us so that, so that we fervently work to create systems of adequate health care, adequate access to fresh water, adequate housing, adequate mental health care, equitable economic structures, and so much more that this global trauma has exposed. May we attack these systemic inequities with the same conviction, strength, and invisible, and invincible faith experienced after the death of our Jesus on the day of Pentecost. Amen. Esta es la limpieza de la tierra, del mundo. Esta es la limpieza de la agua, del mundo. Para cambiar la energía. This is the smudging of the earth. And the smudging of the earth's water. That we may change the energy of this day. La agua esta es sagrada. The water is sacred. La agua renueva. The water renews. La agua transforma. The water transforms. En este tiempo, si quieres conseguir un vaso de agua y, un, un, y otro vaso vacío, si quieres participar, hacer la tónica aquí a ratito. If you want to participate, go ahead and get a glass of water and an empty glass 
so you can pour into as we will do the healing tonic water in just a moment. Permite que nuestra tristeza sea un limpiador, un claro, una lluvia saludable necesaria en cada clima emocional. Allow your sadness to be a cleanser, a clearing, a healthy rain needed in every emotional climate. Uno de los pueblos de Nuevo México, Estados Unidos, los in, pueblos indio, indios creen que después de la muerte, tanto la alma como el espíritu dejan el cuerpo físico y viajan a Shipap, al otro lado, donde se convierten en Chihuahua, alrededores de lluvia. Y re, Gresan a las aldeas en forma de nubes. Some Pueblo Indians of New Mexico and the United States believe that after death, both the soul and the spirit leaves the physical form and journeys to Shipap, the other side, where they become Shiwana, rainmakers, and return to the villages in the form of clouds. Vamos a hacer un tónico para llorar y sanar. Let us now make our healing weeping tonic. El secreto es que se trata de intenciones. The secret is that it is all about intentions. Vierta gotas de agua en un vaso. Pour out drips of water into the glass. Con cada gota, nombre. Tu dolor, with every drop, name your pain. Me duele el corazón porque te perdí. My heart aches because I lost you. Me duele mi alma porque ya no estás conmigo. My soul aches because you are no longer with me. Estoy bien triste. Porque no te pude decir adiós. I am very sad because I was not able to say goodbye. Permite que esta agua represente a la tierra llorando por toda la tristeza que siente de todos nosotros que no sabemos qué hacer con nuestra tristeza. Allow this water to represent the earth crying for all the sadness it feels from all of us who don't know what to do with our sadness. Permite que esta bebida sea un tónico curativo, medicina para su alma. Allow this drink to be a healing tonic, medicine for your soul. En esta manera, nuestro dolor ayuda a nuestros cuerpos a sanar. In this manner, our pain helps our bodies to heal. Y recuerde que cada vez que vea una nube o la lluvia que viene, que los buenos recuerdos de su ser querido le traigan sonrisa, sonrisas y esperanza a su corazón en la misma tradición de los pueblo indios. And remember, each time that you see a cloud or rain coming, may the fond memories of your loved one bring smiles upon your face and hope to your heart in the same tradition of the Pueblo Indians. Aho. Parle.
Les invito en un momento de silencio a tener presentes a todos los que se nos han adelantado en el camino por causa de este virus o de otras enfermedades también relacionadas o impactadas por el virus. Dios, Padre, Madre de bondad, en tus manos encomendamos el alma de todos nuestros seres queridos, padres, madres, hermanos, hermanas, hijos, niños, a quienes has llamado a tu presencia. Te encomendamos que los recibas con la vida abundante, que nos has prometido en tu Evangelio. Que los recibas en el hogar que tienes preparado para nosotros cuando regresemos a tu presencia bendita. En tus muchos nombres oramos. Amén. Into your hands, God of mercy, we commend the souls of our loved ones who have died from this pandemic. We give you thanks for the blessings you bestowed upon our loved ones during their earthly lives. They are signs to us of your love. May their souls, like the souls of all the faithful departed, rest in peace. Merciful Creator, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants who have died, and help us who remain to comfort one another. For you, Jesus Christ, have known the anguish of the sorrowful, and you know our suffering, for you have suffered too. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need, and strengthen their hope through your lasting love. May the peace of God which is beyond all understanding, come and rest in our hearts and minds. May the love of God and the peace of Jesus and the comfort of the Holy Spirit bless and console us and gently wipe every tear from our eyes. In all the names that are holy. Amen. The names that you have placed in the box will go on the scrolling screen for our last service. And we have collected these names from around the world through the services that we have shared. 
in this day. The music that you sorry, sorry, Cecilia. No. Los nombres que han puesto en el chat de nombres y países de las personas que han muerto serán añadidos a la lista de los nombres que están apareciendo en el memorial y serán utilizados en el servicio siguiente que será en dos horas la hora del Pacífico a las 10 de la noche nuestra. Uh, the music that we heard was uh, commissioned especially for this service and was written by members of MCC New York USA. La música y los cantos que escuchamos en los servicios fueron compuestos y escritos especialmente para este servicio por la comunidad de MCC New York, Estados Unidos. After the closing prayer, you may wish to sit in silence for a while and then the uh, meeting room will close. Después de la oración final, pueden quedarse por algunos minutos en silencio orando y enseguida eh, será cerrado este momento de oración. Let us pray. Oremos. Loving God, send us out into the world. Dios amoroso, envíanos al mundo. Send us out to bring hope and light. Envíanos a mostrar luz y esperanza. Send us out to bring healing and love. Envíanos a mostrar sanación y amor. Send us out to let our grief help others. Envíanos para que nuestro sufrimiento ayude a otras personas. As we learn to lean on one another and share with one another. Hasta que aprendamos a confiar y apoyarnos unas personas a otras. Send us out knowing that love is stronger than death. Envíanos con la confianza de saber que el amor es más fuerte que la muerte. And may God who created us. Y el Dios que nos ha creado. Jesus who walked among us. Jesús que caminó entre nosotros. And the Spirit who lives in us and dances through us. Y el Espíritu que vive y baila a través de nosotros. Bless us as we go out into this night. Nos bendiga mientras vamos a esta noche. Go in peace. Vayan en paz. Amen. Amen.